in the next video we are controlling this led online and uh, offline using a push button so in this video you are going to learn how to control a uh, an led okay uh through arduino iot cloud and uh, through uh an external uh push button so uh now for this project okay we need the uh, esp 32 board so we you can choose uh another board okay of course the push button so we can control uh the uh the light okay offline great and uh, this is a 200 ohm resistor for our um, led okay great so let me just do some something here okay now let's start with our connection okay great uh, i put the uh, the board on the uh, breadboard the uh, esp on the uh, breadboard okay we're gonna be using this part so now i connect also the the push button on this side of the breadboard just like that beautiful now I grab the, uh, the resistor and uh, one of its legs, I connect it to the uh, one of the uh, legs of my push button. Okay, this will be the ground, okay. Now the LED, now I'm going to connect, okay the cath the cathode of this LED to my 200 ohm resistor okay, to the free leg like that boom okay great now let me grab this one again so this will be okay so the resistor and the push and uh, this leg of the push button they will be attached to one okay guys so let me just do something here okay good. now i attach it to the uh, to the ground okay the resistor and the push button and, and, and the cathode to through this Resistor. Now, this um, the yellow wire is going to GPIO four. This will be our uh, GPIO signal. Okay, if you want, okay, our push button signal the input. Now, the this one is, is for our LED. Okay. GPIO 15 to the uh, anode of my LED. The anode is the uh, the plus part okay, side of my LED. Just like that. Okay, great. Now I can connect my cable so we can upload our sketch. But yeah, uh, this is the uh, the, the diagram very simple and it's now we go to google because we 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 want to control uh, the uh, led through uh through internet okay now we click on get started you need to 
create uh, an account okay for that don't forget that then we create a theme you can click here the thing then create thing great very good now you rename your thing rename your thing you can give the name you want okay then rename now we need to create a variable uh to control the led okay for me it's going to be light like then uh yeah uh, it's a boolean okay then i create the variable then i set up the device okay third party esp32 the type is uh, esp for me okay is esp32 dev module is one then continue you can give here a name to your device okay hi yeah this is the name for from for my device okay so don't forget to cap the secret key okay and uh, you can also download the the, uh, the pdf just in case if if you, if you forgot your um secret key so you can done everything you done okay so okay boom okay now you set up your network so that's the secret key okay if you can open it you can cut this so cut this and uh, because you you will need it to set up the network for your thing okay so go here network then you paste paste the secret key and uh, don't forget to put okay your password of your the password of your wi-fi and the name of your wi-fi then you click done i think so okay the thing we we've just set up our thing okay now you click here because we also need to create a dashboard okay the dashboard will allow us to control the led okay you using the iot remote application mobile application so you click to create a dashboard click on it okay then you rename uh you can give a name to your dashboard okay great uh, the name to your dashboard okay uh did the control great now click on it you now you add the widget okay the switch the, this one to control the yeah the led uh the uh, okay uh, switch is okay uh now you link the variable of that thing to your dashboard okay and uh, this is the uh, the the variable light okay the boolean variable okay to your dashboard you can show the name on your uh, mobile app then you click done then now we we need to change the position how the widget will display will be displayed on our mobile phone so we can change the 
uh, the, the the position we can put it uh, in the middle of our phone of our yeah screen okay okay now it's it's done we've just created the dashboard now we go back to to thing you click on the thing click here so we can uh, upload our code okay so you go to sketch to sketch when as you can see the board is offline because we, we we didn't upload the code now this the sketch and uh, i'm going to use this sketch okay this sketch uh, don't worry because i'm going to provide in the videos description so you got that so if you need uh, an uh, an explanation or uh, or anything about about the code you can leave a comment okay now we we paste the code here with with uh, everything the push button everything yeah so you you can just download the code okay so this is where my SSID, everything that's secret, the secret key reside. Okay, and uh, that's my code. So hit the uh, the uh, download icon. So I, I mean the uh, uh, upload icon. So it can take it can take a um, few sec few seconds or minute. Maybe I need to speed up. Okay, this. Uh, okay, so now I. Speed it up is okay. So now it's upload. Okay. Uh, so now, as as you can see, if if I refresh, okay, the site, the website, it's we, we can see now the board is online. Okay. Now we go to okay. Now we go to our to our mobile phone. We click on IoT remote app don't forget to download it okay we can see our project okay light control the dashboard we click on it and then we can see the switch okay everything is here okay uh, now we can control from our phone okay Thank you so much, and uh, don't, don't forget to hit the uh, bell icon or donate. Okay. Um, I'll see you in the next video.